It was just after midnight when Sarah first noticed the warning signs that their primary server was beginning to fail. Within minutes, she had assembled her emergency response team and they began the race against time to save years of irreplaceable data. The system diagnostics confirmed their worst fears. The main storage array was showing signs of imminent catastrophic failure with corrupted sectors multiplying by the minute. They prioritized the most critical databases first, establishing multiple parallel backup processes to maximize the data transfer before complete system failure. Hour three into the crisis, they hit a major obstacle when the backup bandwidth throttled unexpectedly, threatening to slow the entire operation to a crawl. Sarah made the bold decision to bypass the standard network protocols, creating a direct connection that doubled their transfer speed despite the security risks. By sunrise, they had successfully transferred over 80% of the critical data, but the remaining files included the company's proprietary research, arguably their most valuable asset. After seven grueling hours, just as the primary storage array emitted its final death rattle, they completed the last backup sequence with less than two minutes to spare. The post-incident analysis revealed they had saved over 98% of all data, preventing a disaster that would have cost the company millions and potentially years of research. Three months later, Sarah was promoted to director of IT infrastructure, with her first project being the implementation of a new redundant backup system that would ensure they never came that close to disaster again.